Welcome to this video. We're going to be discussing how to do the ancient gold hoarder vaults and how much money you can expect from them. You must go up to a gold hoarder, preferably hide the hoarder in Mouse Peak Outpost. This one gives you an ashen vault, which in turn allows you to collect better loot. When you go up to the gold collector, starting at gold hoarder level 25, you can purchase a Wayfinder vault quest. It's important to note that you start getting gold keys at level 45 gold hoarder's reputation. The rarity of the keys are stone, silver, gold, which again, gold can only be collected once you reach at least level 45 gold hoarder's reputation. Gold keys give gold vaults, which provide by far the best loot. You'll expect a bigger vault going all the way to the ceiling and higher quality items. The video you see here, we do a silver vault and make silver vault money. I will be talking about the best vault, which is an ashen gold vault. I'll tell what I made off this at a necessary 5 later. You're going to notice you have a Wayfinder compass pointing into a certain direction. Follow the compass to the island and it will start spinning around, meaning there's a map parchment. You only have to collect enough map parchments to see the X and identify the correct island. Sometimes you will have to get all map pieces and most of the time you won't. Once you have enough map pieces, go to the island indicated and dig up the spot. Note that multiple pieces can be on an island at a time. This is more common on larger islands. Once you collect the vault key out of the chest, it will tell you the island name and its name along with a short riddle where it's inserted. If you go to Marl's Peak Outpost, which I highly recommend, the vault location will always be on the Ashen Reaches in the same cave on the northwest side. Once you put a key in the door, it will open. Make sure your crew is ready because when the second door opens, a three minute timer starts. I suggest when the vault door opens that you and your crew start getting the loot while you start to solve the puzzle. You will need at least two medallions to open it quickly. There will be four pillars. The first three is what is applied from the medallions and the altar. You only need two, but I will get to that shortcut in a little bit. For now, we're going to assume you have three, which can be found scattered throughout the vault. Generally, there will be two close to the bottom and a third close to the top. Once your three medallions are in, you simply match the images to the respective pillar. If the second is a key facing down, and a lock then turn the second pillar to match it. You do the same for the third. Be careful to note that some of the symbols must be pointed a certain way to work. However, it gets a little different for the fourth one. The fourth one is a combination of all three. You must have the first three symbols on it. In this case, there's a skull with two locks and two keys which partially matches the first three. Once you do the riddle that is solved, the shortcut comes when you only have two. You can do process of elimination to speed things up. If the first two is done, it means the third pillar must be one of two symbols. Since the fourth pillar has to be a combination of the first three, there's only two options that match up with the first pillars. This means doing this gives you a 50% chance of getting it correct. No worries, I do not think there's a punishment for getting an incorrect solution. So that's why the shortcut is pretty good, but if you can get a third one and you think it'll be faster, then go for it. Technically, you can sell the vault key for about 3.5k, but I really discourage it. The best way to loot the vault is to place all the chests right outside the stone gate that closes. You'll know your 3 minutes is almost up as it will halfway shut and give you 10 seconds to get out of the vault. Once it closes, it starts filling up with water. If you get caught during this time, it's not a bad idea to collect left gold piles as all of these will equal to about 5k. Load up all your loot and take it to the nearest outpost. I wouldn't recommend Reaper's Bones as you won't get the gold hoard or emissary value. Upon selling all the loot, gold hoarder 45, with an emissary 5 doing the ash and gold vault, you'll make a whopping 120k. Some people might look at this number as a lot, some people might look at it as a not. But this probably took me around 45 minutes with no PvP involved, meaning the only food you'll use is when the geysers or skeletons attack you. So this is why it's probably one of the easiest 120k you can make. By the way, that's 160 an hour, counting the cell times, and it's a emissary 5. What's crazy is this isn't even me tryharding or sweating to speedrun. There's even more efficient ways to complete this once again this video is me completing a silver ash and vault i'm getting these big numbers from a gold ash and vault i completed right after anyways i hope you learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed this type of content and peace out